Hi you guys, it's Alyssa and I'm back with another reading. So as you can see from the title, today's reading is, um, is my person keeping tabs on me? Are they like stalking me on social media or some other way? Okay, um, so <clears throat> that's what we're going to try to find out today. I'm doing this a little bit differently because I already have four um, pre-shuffled piles of cards and I I haven't looked at the cards so I don't know what they are, um, but each of the piles has approximately the same number of cards in it. Um, so go ahead and make your choice. We've got one, two, three, and four. And while you're doing that, I just want to thank all of my lovely viewers and subscribers. Um, all of your support really means a lot to me. Also, don't forget that I do offer private readings. The link to my Etsy store is in the description box. Um, and you can click on it and go over there and that will tell you everything you need to know about how to purchase one. Also, I just want to say that I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to get this video uploaded, but I want to um, just announce that I am going to be doing a sale on my readings February 1st through the 14th. Um, all of my readings will be 30% off, so if you have been thinking about getting a reading from me, that would be the time to do it. I hope you've made your choice. If not, go ahead and pause the video. But we are going to get started with pile number one, all right, guys? So I'm just going to put these piles off to the side. Okay, group number one. Let's see, what do we have here? <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> So, um, it's worth pointing out that the Three of Pentacles we have twice here. So that's kind of interesting. Um, the number three could be significant to you. And um, also, I'm feeling like for a lot of you guys, this could be somebody that you know through work. All right. Um, I feel like for many of you, this could be a fire sign because we have the Knight of Wands. And then we also have Temperance, which, you know, this, um, the fire in this card is really sticking out to me. Also, I think this card is associated with Sagittarius, but I'm not 100% sure about that. So don't quote me on that. But I'm getting the sense that this is somebody that you probably know from work or possibly through school who, um, I don't know, I'm getting a sense that their um, attention is kind of unwanted by you, okay? Um, I'm getting this feeling like you, I, I feel like this is somebody who is romantically interested in you, but you, I don't feel like, are super interested in them. Um, and so I'm just getting a really strong sense of like unwanted attention. But yeah, I do think that they, um, whoever this person is, they are keeping tabs on you. I don't really feel like it's via the internet. I feel like it's mostly because it's through like more like real life channels, like, like I said, I feel like this is somebody that you work with or go to school with, um, or just somebody who knows a lot of the same people that you know, and so I feel like that's how they keep track of you, like they, like by talking to other people and finding out from them. <clears throat> because there is, um, there's also a sense of lots of other people being involved, or I guess I shouldn't say lots, but I do feel like there are other people involved in this equation because we have this card, which is the Great Gathering, 
and you can see in the image there's a lot of people like out in this field or whatever and then we also have let your friends help you so these cards are both giving me the impression that it's not just like this person stalking your Facebook or something. It feels like they get a lot of their information about you from other people. Not necessarily your friends, but it could be mutual friends that you have. Um, but it could be like from like other coworkers or other people and you know that are just around you a lot. And that's not to say that they are not necessarily stalking your Facebook or your Instagram or whatever, but I don't really, I feel like most of their, um, most of the watching that they do is like in person, if that makes sense. And I'm not saying that they follow you or anything like that, because I'm not seeing that, but you know, they get their information from people in real life and, um, I just feel like you guys are probably uh, in the same places frequently, you know, not because they're literally stalking you, but because that's just the way it is. You know, like I said, I feel like you probably work together or go to school together or something like that. But yeah, I feel very strongly that this is somebody that has a romantic interest in you that you are not interested in. It's like, it's very one-sided, I feel like. And it feels as if this person has been waiting a lot. It, it feels like this person is um, confident that the two of you will have a new start together. You know, like a new phase in your relationship. Um... And so they've just been waiting very patiently for that to happen, for you to... They feel quite strongly that you will come around. Um, I don't know whether that's true or not, but that's the feeling that I'm getting here. Um, also, I want to point out in this card, these three pentacles are all connected to each other. So it's like... They get a lot of their information about you from other people um, in your network. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, anyway, it feels like this is, like I said, somebody that is interested in you that you're not, you don't have feelings for in return. So, they, um, but they're... They've been very patient, or they feel like they've been very patient, waiting for this, for you to come around. That's what I'm, that's like the specific phrase that I'm hearing. Like, they'll, they'll come around eventually. Um, and, and see that, you know, I'm worth a, a chance. Um, but it feels, I don't feel like you have the same, I, I mean, I just don't really see you ever reciprocating, um, and that m could end up being a problem, because we have pay attention to the red flags, <clears throat> I don't know what's wrong with my voice right now, um, but this card is, it says the signs are cautioning you, so this card basically is saying that um, you may need to confront this person if you know who it is um, and tell them like straight up, um, like I'm not interested and you need to move on with your life basically because I feel like if this is left unaddressed, it could actually become <clears throat> um, a real problem. Anyway, group one. Um, that's your reading. That's really all I'm getting from this. I hope it resonated with you. Um, feel free to let me know your thoughts. Because I do love to uh, read your comments, you guys. And, um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. We're going to move on now to group number two. All right, group two. Let's see what you guys have got here. 
So is your person keeping tabs on you? And if they are, how and why? So the first card we've got is forgiveness, romantic feelings, free yourself, Look at this here. The end of a tough cycle approaches. A new romantic cycle begins. Oh gosh, you guys got three of these cards. And prosperity lies ahead. We got star seed. Eight of pentacles. Nine of cups. Nine of swords. And the moon. Okay. <clears throat> so, this feels like someone that you do not have contact with for the most part. It feels like this could be, this could be an ex-partner or this could be somebody that you were involved with but it never really like got off the ground um but i feel like this is somebody who wants another chance with you we've got romantic feelings we've got a new romantic cycle begins this is definitely somebody that wants a second chance or maybe even a third chance um but they feel like they have screwed up too much and they're afraid, I think, that you would not forgive them for things that happened in the past. And I think that they, I feel like this person does creep on your social media, okay? We get the moon card here. So with this card, I feel like, um, you know, nobody else knows about their, uh, them watch, the fact that they watch you. So it feels like, you know, it's probably on the internet where they're <laughs> doing most of their creeping. Um, and, you know, they they keep it to themselves. It's not like they ask other people about you or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it's, it, there's a real sense of like, secretive something secret being very secretive um also they i think try to figure out if there's stuff that you are hiding from them which i don't know or it could just be they want to know if there's they want to know what's going on in your life that you're not sharing with them okay um we got the eight of pentacles here in this deck this card usually talks about indifference and apathy so they may feel as if that's your feelings towards the connection they might feel like you are indifferent about them apathetic they may feel like or they may be afraid that you've moved on um but they, I feel like they worry a lot about you getting involved with somebody else. Because so we have the Nine of Swords, and this card is like, this is the card of anxiety and staying up all night worrying about stuff. Um, so it just, it really feels as if they are they worry about you getting involved in somebody else and them losing their chance however you know clearly they're not trying to seize the opportunity to be with you which i guess it they feel like the the opportunity hasn't quite gotten there yet um we have the end of a tough cycle approaches so this could be like them um working towards reaching out to you, um, hoping that you will be able to forgive them or asking you for forgiveness for whatever has happened in the past, um, and 
you know, this is what they're hoping for. Prosperity. An, another a new cycle, a new another chance, another another go at this. And it's like they want to make sure that they do it right this time. Because you're like a you're like a dream come true for them, the nine of cups. And we got this card, Star Seed. It says, What lights you up? And it's like you you light them up. All right, they just, they feel really good about you. And um, it feels like, feels like they know that you're one of a kind, like they're never going to, I'm getting the sense that some of them feel like if they let you slip through their fingers, they're never going to forgive themselves. Because they just feel as if, you know, you are their only shot. Like, I, I want to say their only shot at being happy in life, which is kind of a weird thing to think. But, um, I mean, <laughs> clearly this person has some issues um, because they're, they're not being communicative right now. But they're trying to... They're trying to build up to that. There's still some anxiety. There's a lot of anxiety, actually. Um, so they're trying to to build themselves up to come towards you, to reach out to you, and ask you for forgiveness, and ask you, you know, for another chance at this, um, because that's what they really want. And they're just they're just really afraid that you're gonna end up getting involved with somebody else before they can do that. But it also, um, for some of you, if you, uh, if you've been thinking that this person has moved on from whatever connection you had, that's, I don't think that's true at all. Um, they've not, they have not let this situation go. It's, um, I, I feel like they think about you probably every day. They think about you a lot. Okay. And they think about this situation a lot. Obviously, you know, they lose, they're losing sleep over it. Um, but yeah, I feel like they, um, I mean, they just, I feel like they love you a lot and they care about you a lot and they really want another go at this, but they're just, they're just trying, they're trying to work up the courage. They're trying to, they're trying to hype themselves up to actually do it. That's basically it. Um, so yeah, group number two, that's your reading. I hope that it resonated with you. Um, feel free to leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. I do love to hear from you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time. Bye. Okay, group number three. Let's see what cards you have. Is somebody keeping tabs on you? If they are, how and why? Oh, you guys got two of these. You got the initiation. Keepers of the earth. You're very close to achieving your goal. We have unlikely. We have trust. We have let go of control issues. Release your ex. Two of cups. Knight of swords. Knight of cups. And the eight of pentacles. Okay, so I feel like I feel like this is somebody who is an ex and it feels like they are 
kind of watching you because they, I'm hearing that they don't want you to be involved with anyone else. And group two had kind of a similar vibe, but this one is a lot more like actually controlling. Whereas the energy in group two was more like the person was just worried about it, you know, but with this, it's like, this person is actually, like, if they found out that you were involved with somebody else, they would actually be angry, and, oh, I don't know, I get, oh, I don't like this energy at all, it feels gross, um, so, It feels like this is an ex. This feels like somebody that, you know, you're broken up with. Um, but they can't seem to, they can't seem to let it go. They can't seem to let you go. And I think it's because this is somebody who is very controlling. Um, and it's, so it's like, it's not like they can't let you go because they're still in love with you and they want to make you happy. It's like, they can't let you go because they want to have control over the situation and over you. And it feels like they hate that they, they hate the fact that you're not together anymore because now they can't, they can't control you anymore, basically. Um, we got these two knights down here. So, I feel like this is a situation where they might actually... I mean, okay, I don't want to, like, scare anybody or anything, but these two cards, you know, knights are... You know, the knights are moving, so it feels like the this person is actually like goes to different places just to try to see you or like try to bump into you you know what i'm saying um this might be somebody who kind of just shows up at your workplace sometimes um especially if you work like at in a store or like a restaurant or something this could be somebody who tends to just appear there while you're working and it's like oh I didn't know you would be working at this moment in time on this day um like that's what they that's what they say something like that um and you're like yeah sure you didn't um so I mean I'm not it's not like a real malicious energy or anything like that. Like, I don't feel like this is somebody who is dangerous. It's just, it's just, it's just an unpleasant vibe here. Um, I feel like with the Two of Cups, I, I feel as if this person believes that the two of you are meant to be together. This person feels like there's some element of fate or destiny between you and like, I don't want to say that this person is delusional, but they might be slightly delusional. Um, let's see. I feel like I need to pull out some clarifiers for this. Because this is actually, um, really uh, kind of strange. So I'm going to pull out some clarifying cards. Um, with the unlikely card, it feels like they kind of know, like there's this 
you know, the rational part of their brain knows that it's unlikely that the two of you are going to get back together. But then, you know, the less rational part of them is like, no, 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 no. Don't say that. You got to trust. I'm going to trust that we'll be back. We'll get together again. Um... <laughs> I'm just kind of confused about whoa, what these three cards are talking about. There's the moon. So some element of secrecy. There's the Empress, there's the Knight of Swords again. So this person, I feel like, kind of thinks that um, they are... <laughs> I, I feel like this person thinks that they're actually making progress towards getting back together with you. Which, I mean, I don't know your specific situation, but... So that could be true, or that might not be true, but whatever the case is, they feel like they're getting closer to achieving their goal of getting you back. Um, because they are, you know, they do think very highly of you with these two cards here. Um, but there's a sense of... There's this feeling like they feel like they need to guide you like they need to show you the way and i'm getting that from these two cards the initiation and the moon card there's some there's like an esoteric feeling to these two cards in combination so it's like they feel like they are supposed to teach you things like supposed to be a mentor to you almost which is kind of weird, um, but they feel like you need them, or they need to, and they, they need to make you understand that you need them. I don't know. This is weird. This person feels, like I said, slightly delusional, um, uh, and I, I hate to say that because, like, obviously I don't know them, and I don't know their life. But that's how it feels, and it's weird. It's very, very weird, honestly, group three. Um, uh, I would be careful. <laughs> like I said, I don't feel like this is somebody who's actually dangerous. Like, I don't feel like they would, I don't think they would hurt you. But, you know, obviously, I don't know your specific situation, so I can't tell you for sure that they wouldn't hurt you. Um... Yeah, that's your reading, Group 3. Um, I hope that uh, you enjoyed it. Um, it was kind of, a, kind of a strange message, but I hope it resonated with you. Um, feel free to let me know your thoughts. I do love to read your comments, you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time, and we're going to move on now to Group Number 4. All right, Group Number 4. Is somebody keeping tabs on you? How are they doing that and why? So let's see what cards you got. We have Remain Positive, Helpful People, Very Soon, You Deserve Love, well, you guys got three of these, Chemistry, Transformation, Take Time to Breathe Out, Balance Spirituality and Practicality, and then we have Justice, Judgment, the Ace of Swords, and the Page of Swords. Okay, so... Let's see group four. 
I'm actually getting a pretty strong feeling that for most of you guys, this person is kind of watching you like unintentionally. It feels like you could have some type of psychic connection with this person. And I'm getting that specifically from this card. Okay. Um, but also this one a little bit. It just feels like... if I sense that um, this person kind of... They could have dreams about you. Okay? And that could be one way that they are, like quote-unquote watching you um also I feel like they could like randomly get a thought in their head like about how do I want to say this this is so interesting this is like both of these swords cards you know swords are mental okay it's, it's about your mind. And then also justice is holding a sword. So there's a lot of swords here. So it's it feels psychic. It feels like telepathic. It feels very like a mental connection of some kind. Where it's like you can feel each other's emotions sometimes. And but I feel more strongly like there are times where you just know what the other person is thinking about. Like you get a random thought in your head and you're like, where did that come from? It came from them or that's happening to them. And they get a random thought in their head and it came from you. Um, you might already be aware that this is happening, but I don't think that they are. Um, I mean, or, or it could be reversed. They might know and you don't. Um, but I feel more like they are the ones that, they're the one that doesn't know. Um, however, I'm feeling like they may be coming aware of it. Because the Ace of Swords and the Page of Swords, they both are offering new beginnings. And of, of clarity. And also, the Transformation card, it says things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. So it feels like if this is somebody who was not super um, psychically, I don't know, developed or attuned in the past, I feel like they are awakening to that. They are becoming aware of that. With the judgment and justice, both of these being major arcanas, so it's very strong energy here. And they kind of have similar vibes to them. Justice is like balance. Um, and judgment is about renewal, okay? Um, but both of these cards for me also have, um, elements of, like, truth and, and honesty to them, just like the swords cards do. So it feels like, um, it feels like there's something that this person wants to tell you really badly, or it could be reversed, you know, take it however it applies to you. Um, but it feels like there's something that somebody wants to say. And there's a very strong attraction, um, yeah, connection here with, you know, the chemistry card. Um, and it's like, okay, Ooh, okay, I get it now. Helpful people, I feel like the two of you are very much connected on a soul level and I feel like your guides or somebody is trying to bring you two together okay um and I feel like you one of you or both of you have been kind of losing faith in this situation and you know, you've been, but, but, but your, um, your guides in the universe are trying to 
tell you to remain positive, okay, not to not to lose hope for this situation, because I feel like it's going to be, this honestly feels like a soulmate or twin flame kind of energy, and it feels like the universe is going to be bringing you into real physical union very soon. Um, so, yeah, I, that's why they're, I, I feel like for most of you, they don't know that they're watching you because it's, it's a psychic thing. Um, but it's happening because you two are connected so strongly on a soul level. And there's a lot of, like, unconditional love going on, which is, you know, pretty, um, pretty, uh, typical of soul connections, you know, even if, even when somebody's acting terrible and shitty, you know, you can't help but love them because it's like they're part of you, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, I, uh, <laughs> group number four, that's kind of a deep, there's, there's some, some, some deep stuff going on here. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonated with you. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts. I do love to hear from you guys. Also, thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time, my friends. Bye!